Hey dear, something's wrong. The mower's stopped in the middle of the lawn. You lift the lid and find the worst. It's the kiss of death. No loop signal. This mower's going nowhere. A quick check at the docking station and there it is. The flashing light of gloom. You've got a break somewhere in the cable and you're going to have to fix it. Somewhere in this vast array of garden space, there's a wire broken. The question is, where is it? Now to find a break in a cable, you either need one of these, which is a proprietary brand cable tracker, uh, that you can buy in a hardware store or electronic store costs about 70 odd pounds and uh, using it will take a long time quite a lot of patience and a fair bit of experience or you can use one of these costs about five or ten pounds you can buy it on Amazon or online anywhere else of course and doubles up that is a radio when you're not using it to find a break in the cable. So how are we going to use this? This is just an ordinary AM FM radio and we're going to use it in its AM mode and it's important that you do select AM. If you turn the machine on and switch it to a point where there is no station. I find that the uh, low end is probably best. And then you move it around until you can be quite sure there's no signal coming. Then, using where you know there is your wire, lay the air along there and listen to that noise. That's the noise that tells you that you've got power going through that cable. In other words, there's no break here. The next bit of the process is somewhat tedious, but it starts by lifting the lid of the charging unit and removing one side of the input. You then begin your search for the broken cable. First finding where the cable is by listening to the noise. There it is. And then following along until you're lucky enough to find that noise disappear. I'm thinking that the brake has got to be somewhere near here. So okay, we know that the that the brake is cl close by here somewhere and it's likely to be about a blade's width away from the edge of the lawn. So what we're going to do now is search for where the cable is. And the best tool I've found for the job is one of these. You can't hurt. It, it's one of the pegs that Husqvarna uh, supply for uh, 
pegging down the wire but you can't hurt the wire if you do cut uh, find it. It, it it's not going to cut through it and so what I do is I just keep going until I hear it click there it is I heard I've heard the wire click and I put my and there is the wire okay so we know that the we know that the brake is here somewhere so we can just give a, a little tug and yes it's very it's loose it's loose so the the brake is here definitely the brake is here it's coming aha broke so now if we now lay this down ah culprit look there's the other there we go so now two ends of a broken cable and uh, all you've got to do is now is join them <laughs>